can't imagine life without my husband. It has been three days since I lost him. I've never ever been the same. Your mission here is accomplished. So I guess we don't expect to be under the same roof anymore. I beg your pardon? Well, let's just say you are a little girl on fast land, wearing the mask of the devil, skirmishing to make money at all costs. And it was so unfortunate that my dad happens to be one of your fatalities. Are you out of your mind? Sweetheart, no person of sound mind wouldn't tell exactly that you had a mission accomplished in this house. You know what, Tina? I loved your father until the enemy death came calling. You are the enemy, Natasha. You have caused this family more harm than you can ever imagine. It still rings in my ears that you are still our mate. My mate. And I regard you as one till this moment. Tina, you know we love you so much. I know. We'd like to see you very successful one day. That is why I'm doing all this talking. Yes. Of course, we'd like to see you coming out of flying colors. I'd love to see you get married to a responsible man. <laughs> yes. wow. Of course, to have my lovely grandchildren. <laughs> Playing around me. <laughs> that is all we are looking for. Yes, mom. But I know you'll make it. Definitely. Okay. Well, yes, mom. I'm so proud of you, darling. <laughs> yeah, I love you so much. I love you too. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Mm -hmm. ah. Have you had your lunch? Mm. Not yet. Okay. Let's go to the boys' quarters. I have a little surprise for you. Really? Little surprise. the promises he made to mom before she died. Now, listen. You know I need someone to take care of me. Not somebody that is young enough to be your own daughter. You uh, made that. Don't tell me you so in trouble. Spellbound and totally not to be the same anymore. Dad, if 
enough for anything else. But for the sake of my dead mom, your wife. I mean, sleeping with this girl is completely off the hook. You know what to do, girl? You can as well become your mother's possible replacement. But I'm sorry to tell you this. You're getting married next week. Excuse me, fuck. Well, do you know what? This is insane. We should have. Tina! 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 Tina, I want you and I to go back to the drawing board and know exactly what your father's left to us. The lawyer will be coming here after his burial. And I'm sure your father has a will that we never knew of. And how is that supposed to be your headache? Come. Don't you think you're crossing your borderline in this house as a maid? Mm? Mind you. I expect us to be very understanding with each other now that your dad is no more. You see, Holland and Napoleon will bring nothing to us but hatred. And as your stepmom, I wouldn't like to engage you into that. Maybe you don't know. But let me tell you, from the very first day I set my eyes on you, I hated you. I hate you, Natasha. I hate you so much. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Who cares? I've loved your father. And I've always tried to give you the best part of me. But you are getting into the deep end. And that I can't stand. Because that is too dangerous. I don't care how you feel. This is my house. I say and do whatever that damn way pleases me. Got it? <laughs> you know something, Tina? From the very day I saw you, I knew you were nothing but a spoiled brat and an ungrateful being. And that is below your standard considering your age, sugar. So come on, behave like a grown up woman, because your age is across the calendar border. You have me to contend with for the death of my father. That, I assure you, out of my room. Out! <laughs> Sleep tight. Just get out. I need one of the car keys. And you expect me to roll out a red carpet for being rude to me this morning? Firstly, you walked into my room without knocking. Secondly, you didn't even greet me. Tina, as a daughter living under her mother's roof, I expect you to be very, very submissive. Natasha. Oh, I want is one of the car keys. Please. Can I have it? Until 
you apologize. What for? For being a complete goat this morning. Natasha, you're freaking on my nerves. And I don't like it. Mind you, Tina. I don't have an excess baggage in this house. And if you want to be one, I wouldn't mind exposing you. Life is good. Oh, sweetheart, just be careful with her. She has something up her sleeves. I'm developing a cold feet over my father as well. I never knew my dad as a sluggish man. So is an open door. Well, whatever the situation would be right now, bearing your father should be your priority, your greatest priority as a matter of fact. So I don't I don't deem it necessary that you should blow your strength trying to set a scores with your little stepmother. Jeez. Whatever the case may be, sweetheart. You cannot kill her position in that family. She's been, she's been married to your father. Mm. Hello? Alright. No, 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 I'll be right there. Alright? Come on. Phew. Call for duty, sweetheart. I'm gonna shoot in today. Yeah. Let me just uh, change into something, okay? Mm -hmm. Aye. I have to go. I'll see you later, okay? That's what you always say. I hardly get enough of you to say. I'll make it up to you, trust me. It's not always going to be like this. Remember, I'm just your hitman. And all I'm concerned about is the Benjis. And not the fun. I'm going to see you off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, welcome to my humble home. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Oh, yes, but it's just the smallest living room. The biggest one is back there at the pool. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you feel comfortable. Yeah, I'm about to be comfortable. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hello. Please, who are you? Are you looking for someone? I should be asking you who you are. Excuse me? Yes, who the hell are you? Hey, 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 man your language, man. What? Meaning he has the right to speak his ass out in this house or what? Are you a gentleman? I don't remember seeing your face before in this house. Who are you? Natasha, <laughs> it's necessary. Really. Oh, please don't give me that crap. This is my house and I have every right to know who the hell this stranger is. It's all right. It's all right. I'm, I'm Derek. See that? Baby. I have no time. There's no issue to waste my time. I think a kiss would do love. Mm. Holy Moses. I'll see you later. Okay, love. Derek. I want to know your relationship with my daughter. I'm not your daughter, Natasha. Don't you ever call me that. Tina wasn't referring to you. And keep it down. Unless you want to wash a dirty linen right in front of this total stranger, which I don't mind. Well, it's a hard heart if you want. But he's my boyfriend. Not in my house. And not when I'm alive, Tina. Derek, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you better walk out of this house. Oh, hell no, it's not possible. You heard me. Don't try me and don't dare me. You have nothing to do that. I know it's not my right to ask, but living under my roof gave me such a right to ask why you slept last night. Natasha, I'm not in the mood for your drama this morning. I'm very tired and I need to rest. Your father's burial, I mean my husband, is in three days. I know. What about him? Who? Come on, your boyfriend. He's okay. You know what, Tina? 
I'm very sorry for whatever transpired between us the other time. Just tell your guy he's welcome to any day, any time in this house, okay? What? She said that? Yes. I don't know what her plans are, but she looks more or less like a dog in the manger. Well, I don't see her that way. You know, accepting her from the very beginning was the best option rather than dragging your feet. Accepting her as my stepmother is not inclusive. Sweetheart, you, you, don't, you don't have a choice right now, okay? Your dad made a mistake from the very start. So just see it as it is. Well, I can accept her as a member of this family, but I draw the line in calling her mother. I mean it. Tina, if you don't get your dog in the row, you mess yourself up. I told you the truth. I don't care to know what your plans are, but the truth is, your father died when Natasha started closer to him, and I guess you know what that means. The doe is now her closest companion. Who is that? Natasha. Natasha? I'll call you back home. Oh, okay. Can I sit? Yeah. Thank you. Tina, we've raised enough for since you came back. Sometimes in life, you just have to roll with the punches even when it's coming from Muhammad Ali. But I don't think all that is necessary. But just to keep the game on. Straight to the point, Natasha. Friendship. I just want us to be friends and stop giving each other a cold shoulder. This house belongs to us. Thanks. Thanks for saying thanks. You know what? The tailor is in the living room waiting and I advise you going for your measurement. Now that we've all lost the one that we loved so much, I think we should all look good on the day of his burial. Come on, son. I will. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.
You know, I had to be my mother during her surgery. I know. I'm glad you still made it. So how is the mother now? Mm, she's getting better. Mm. She'll resume her job very soon. Okay. <laughs> you know, you're so lucky, Mirabel. Why? Well, to still have your parents alive at this time. And the worst of always. Anyway, forget it. What? What is it, Tina? Tell me, I'm your friend. It's about Natasha. Look, I will come over at your place and we'll talk about it. I want to make sure what I want to do is right. Okay, I understand the right, but just take it easy, okay? Um, here are the files. You can okay. go through them, but yeah. I'll make sure I fill them well. Okay, thank you. Go through them. Oh, well, <laughs> come on. Yes, please do come in. Oh. oh, what kept you so long? I have been waiting for hours. Might not worth your time, Barrister James. Of course, of course. You are even worth more than that. That is why I've been waiting for so long. <laughs> do we have the amended will? Of course, but cash and fun fest. <laughs> How much did we agree on? 50,000 US. <laughs> 50,000 US. Yeah. Jonas. There's a lot of cash. Yeah. You know. Well, don't eat your words back, sweetheart. Remember you asked me to name my price? Mm -hmm. That's just what I did. $50,000 with a piece of your mm, sweet body. <laughs> and what if I refuse your demands? Oh, refuse? <laughs> then we don't have a deal. Remember that Tina is her father's mm, supremo and uh, she has an upper hand over you. I told you all I told you just to give you an upper hand once you allow me to, you know what I mean? <laughs> Please, take a knife, sweetheart. <laughs> Can I use a shawl? Well... I can see you are here today too. Yeah. I guess you're very comfortable, unlike the last time. Things not really went south. I'm cool. So Natasha, how was the day? Splendid. Well. You know what, I'm gonna take my bath, I'll join you guys later. So 
what do you think? Well, I'm comfortable. Natasha. <laughs> 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 What action are you talking about? You tell me you sleep naked. It's quite unfortunate. You know. But I guess it's a matter of time. <laughs> Let's play when you're ready. You might want to try me. So ladies, the summary of uh, what I've been saying so far is that um, Mr. Davis Williams, your husband mm -hmm. and your father, left this whole house and all his businesses for his wife and for you, Tina. Um, the uncompleted house on the Sphinx Road and the Honda Saloon car is for you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Tina, though your father, that's my late husband, left everything in my name, I am not such an ungrateful being like your mom. I'm going to make you the head of his wine company in South Africa. And that's an offer you cannot reject. Thank you. You're welcome. And so you'll be leaving for South Africa this weekend and start the project. Let's see what comes out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Tina, since you refuse to eat, drink something at least. Mira, I just don't know what to do to that bitch who parries herself, not only as my father's wife, but my stepmom. Just imagine. Tina, that is one fact I have to come to terms with. She is wearing a wedding ring given to her by your father. And by rights, She's a stepmother. That is one fact I would never accept. Not as long there is breath passing through my lungs. Never. So what do you intend to do then? Well, meet me at the Clemento's garden tomorrow. But then, I know what to do. Tina, please don't do anything stupid. Trust me.
This is what I intend to do. Jesus Christ. Why would you want to do this? That's my plan. And you're my friend. Are you going to help me or not? Hello, Tina. Yeah, look, I think I have another strategy. Yeah, um, let's meet at Frankie's by um, 4 p.m. Yes, yes. A friend of mine just came from the States. I think she may be of immense help to you. Alright, see you then. Bye. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. You just take it easy, okay? Okay, I'll call you, okay? Thanks. Alright. Bye. Now, it's just me, myself, and I. seducing me, right? 
what you make of it. Am I not beautiful? You are daring, and you've got to be careful, else I'll make you scream. <laughs> scream. I want to scream. I want to scream so loud like I've never done before. Make me feel like a woman. We can do it. But we cannot do it in it for long. What more? Woman ask for. Do it. Oh. Oh. deeper than where we are, Natasha. I love Tina. Derek, now that you've seen and tasted me, I would have died of losing you to anyone. Not even to Tina. Hello? <laughs> Um, can I have a very vintage red wine with uh, any kind, with two glasses? Sir, are you expecting any visitor? And how is that your business? It's for your own safety, sir. Well, yes I am, but bring me the wine. Okay, sir. Hi dear. Hello, how may I help you? I'm here to see Councillor Davis James. Yeah, he's been expecting you. And his room. That is six, I know. Thank you. Have a nice day.
Who is that? Room service, please. Great. What kept you so late? Come right in. Good. No ice. What are this hmm? ice? Hmm? Oh, stupid skull. Councillor James Davis, I've got to attend this for you. Uh, uh, please, uh, can, can I put that bottle, bottle down? Hmm. Which of our Jews hmm. will lead your end today? Hmm. 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 The poison drink or the gun? Oh, oh. Talk! Hey, hey, hey. Oh. The gun or the drink? Hey. 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 You want the drink? Oh. Or the gun? Ah, oh, wait. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. Hey. Can't you talk? Hey. Uh, uh, oh. I hope you choose. Oh, 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 oh please. Yeah. Oh. 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 She has done nothing to you. You must let her go. Let her go now. Okay, okay. She has done nothing to you. You must let her go now. No, it's not like it. She's done. <coughs> She's done nothing to you. You must let her go now. She, she's done nothing to you. Let her go. No, no, it's, it's working like that. <coughs> <coughs> she's done nothing to you. Let her go. That's, that's crazy. Shh. <coughs> she's done nothing to you. Let her go now. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, hi, baby. How are you? I'm okay. So how is GH? Ah, uh, well, we're here. We're just hanging in. As a matter of fact, I just got off set. I feel so tired right now. I wish you were here to just give me some rub down. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sit I guess what? Come on, baby. You know I'm not good at guessing. <sighs> I went to the doctor today and he confirms me four months pregnant. What? Pregnant? Isn't that good news? <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's, it, it, it is. <laughs> I can't wait to see you, my love. Not, not so fast, darling. Um, probably I should come over to you. Oh, I miss everybody so much. So that would be necessary. I'll be in GH very soon. Okay, so until then, bye bye, love. Kiss, kiss. Love you. Yeah, I, I love you too. Bye bye. It also pleases me to inform you that I'm heavy with your child. I don't know what you're going to do about it. Huh. If you are planning on keeping this pregnancy, then count me out. Who determines that? Listen, Natasha, we're not here to debate on it. I'm in love with Tina and you know it. If you're in love with Tina as you claim to be, you shouldn't have slept with me. You instilled me into this mess! <laughs> oh my world. I didn't know you were such a boy. 
Are you insinuating that you are not too old enough to make your own decision or what? Natasha, Tina and I have come a very long way and I intend to keep it that way. The other you understand that and find another option to this mess, the better for you. This sounds like a fairy tale to you, right, Derek? If you think I'm to patch this pregnancy, you better think again. What, what, what is too difficult for you to understand? It's a simple thing. I'm in love with Tina and you know it. What we had was an accident. We cannot carry on this illicit sex and affair. An accident? Yes. Please don't dare upset me. When you were turning out my leg like a doctor delivering a woman with a baby, was that an accident? When you were sacking my hanging garden of Babylon, you were whispering into my ears and were telling me all the sweet things. Oh baby, your style is the best style I've ever, ever enjoyed in sex. You know Tina's style is the old traditional missionary. Was that a fucking, fucking accident? Now you better get your ass off together because I really don't piss me off! Natasha, please, I beg of you, please. On one condition. Bring it on. Marry me. What? Yeah. Marry you? No. No, I can't do that. You've lost it. Sorry. I don't want my child to be born out of wedlock. So together we put to bed. Together we go in for a divorce. Trust me. You are going to be a free man and Tina will never get to know of it. How am I sure what you're saying is the truth? Until you taste the water, you never know how deep it is. Oh, my love. I know you'll be fine. You'll be well. Okay? Oh, baby. Oh. Tomorrow is our wedding. What if he asks me and I tell you you're taking this whole thing too fast? Derek, I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm just reminding you. You are going to slot a ring on my finger and I don't care how you feel about it. Because you know what? I don't want to give back to a bastard. Have you ever imagined the kind of pain Tina would go through when she found out about our secret wedding? Derek, my dad was killed when I was a child. His wealth confiscated and nobody knew how my mom felt about it. My mom became a sex slave to that same person so that we could end a living. You see, I don't have feelings for anyone so I do whatever pleases me. But not to the detriment of an orphan like Tina. I'm an orphan too. So often to often. You don't understand, Derek. Then make me to understand, Natasha. Why me? They say a bed in hand and sweat thousand beds in the bush. As it stands now, you are the only bed in my hand. And legitimately, you are going to be mine tomorrow. Do you know, Natasha, that Tina will be in the country next and week? Tina is afraid for her baby to be a bastard. And you didn't expect me to be a polygamist overnight, do you? Derek, all I know is I love you. And I'm crazy about you. You take my breath away when you make love to me. And how does that supposed to be a headache? She needs to be picked up. My husband is not a driver. Besides, while she'll be on her way coming in, we'll be moving out for a honeymoon. Natasha, you can't be this wicked to the woman that shows you so much love. Why are you beseeching on her behalf like you have something going on with her? What? 
What did you say? You and I know that you forced me into that marriage. You know I don't have feelings for you. And you raped me and got me pregnant. You and I know that rape is a huge offense as far as this country is concerned. Sorry, Derek. You were just lucky that I did not press charges against you. Your sorry ass would have been behind bars now. Ah, so you want to blackmail me? Fine. Good, you know what, Natasha? You are seriously getting on my nerves and I will not hesitate to get rid of you just to save my relationship with Tina. You hear me? Mm. You can shell this roof down for all I care, but Tina is not stepping an inch in this house. An apartment has been arranged for her in the outskirts of Accra. She is not leaving here. I will send to pick you, Miss Williams. Moses is my name. Where is Derek? Hey, why didn't you come to pick me from the airport? He's recording his epic film in the north. So, is that why he's not taking my calls? No. He left straight instructions with his personal assistant not to bring his phone closer to him till the end of the day. This is unlike Derek. He has changed. He hasn't. He said, what am I coming today? Yeah, all the same, he sent you his deepest apologies for not picking you up today. Not granted. Where are we? Your home, Miss Williams. My home? I don't get it. Sorry. I am not in the mood to explain further. Derek will explain to you better. Please, do go in. I'll bring you things later. Where are we? Your home, Miss Williams. My home? I don't get it. Sorry. I am not in the mood to explain further. Derek will explain to you better. Please, do go in. I'll bring you things later. Welcome, Tina. Mini one. Man, this is where you're gonna be staying from this day onwards. Have you lost your fucking mind? What about my father's house? As for your uncle that you stay here and that of your unborn child, I advise you stay here until otherwise proven. Natasha, if there is any reason why I should leave my father's house for another, I need to know. So you better start talking before I lose the last patient I have left. We are not here to debate on where and why you should be here. 
because it wouldn't even make any difference. What do you think of yourself anyways? The head. I make the decisions and you must live by it. Do you know something? Yes. I expected you to give me feedback on the assignment you went on. Whether you are here ordering me and telling me what you want. I can see you're not ready to talk about it. Where the hell are you? Where is Tina? The place she's meant to be. Where is the place? I'm asking you, where is the place? Why are you sounding so apprehensive and knowing the place? Doesn't it occur to you that for once you were somebody's husband? I love Tina. And you know that. Stop hurting yourself. Really? So all this while you were sneaking to my room, slam dog in my ass, and never occurred to you that you belong to Tina. Derek, grab your senses together. Okay. At least let me see her and tell her that we... And what? So you finally tell her that we are husband and wife? That would be better. Natasha, you know Tina is not going to take it easy when she finds out about our flimsy marriage. Please, what I'm asking is a location, please. reason for not picking my calls. Baby, I know, but you know how terrible it is when shooting. You know, no picking calls, no receiving calls either. Please, I beg you, just try and understand, all right? Just accept the fact that you ill-treated me and stop being defensive. Okay, I've accepted the fact that I've ill-treated you, okay? So would you find it in your heart to forgive me, please? Mm. Hmm? Hmm? Come over here, come over here. Her. Yes, babe. Realistically speaking, I think I deserve you for the rest of this weekend. Don't you think so? Yeah, you're right. You ought to have me the whole weekend. Mm. Uh, but I just want to uh, wrap up on what I'm doing, okay? You know how sweat is. It's so healthy. Mm. Yeah. So who and who this time around? Yeah, we have Ramsa Noah, Desma Elio, Jim Ag of them and those guys want to go back to Nigeria like crazy like now so it's like more like I have to overwork yeah. I understand oh all right um do you like it change all right
Hey, Natasha. <coughs> Are you in the bathroom? Hello? Natasha? I was born onto the union of Mr. and Mrs. Johnson on the 21st of August, 1985. My dad was a very, very rich man with companies all over Africa. He had a lot of employees working for him, including his best friend, Mr. William Davis. We never lacked anything. Honey. <laughs> Yes, dear. I'm ready for my trip. Uh, we're gonna miss you. I hope you're not gonna stay long like you did the last time. I promise to be back right after the meeting is over. Okay. Yeah, good girl. Yes, Dad. Mm. I guess you done. Bye, Dad. Let me see you after you come. Have a safe trip. Bye. That was the last time I saw my dad. The next thing we got was a call from the hospital that my dad had a fatal car accident. Hello? Yes? Yes, I'm Mrs. Johnson. Yes, he's my husband. What? No, no, no. No. After my father's burial, we expected our family lawyer to come up with my dad's will, but he couldn't. We waited for a very long time. But finally, one day, he showed up. And guess what? Madam, I'm very sorry. Your husband left no will for him his family. As a result, it's very difficult to tell what property he left behind. He once told me he needed to take care of the loan he took from the bank, after which he would see me to take care of the will. Unfortunately, that couldn't happen because death came calling and he answered. Are you serious? I mean, are you sure what you're saying? Madam, I'm very sure. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. What am I going to do? The bank people were earlier today, and this is what they left. They said my dad couldn't finish paying the bill, so we have to vacate from this day. Jesus Christ. Anita, what are we going to do? I don't know. Nobody's coming from one of your father's friends. I've been to a couple of them. Nobody's interested in our plight. I don't know what you're going to do again. Where are we going to park to anywhere? <laughs> Jesus. 
Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Um, well, uh, we are the agents of uh, Mr. Ado, the new owner of this uh, beautiful house. And uh, as you can see, our truck is packed out there that we are ready to bring in our things. Oh, please, please give us some time. We beg you. There's, there's nothing we can do about it. This is just our job. Please do it as fast as possible. Driver, move in, move in. We were pulled out of our house without roof over our head. There we were, dispossessed and stranded. My mom had no choice but to seek assistance from my dad's so-called best friend. Honey, they can't live under the same roof with us. Don't you know allowing them to stay here will blow out our secrets? Just, just give them money and let them go. Sweetheart, listen. Just listen to me. They won't be here for long. I don't bloody care how long they're staying here. I just want them out of this premises. Ah. Just allow them to... Hell no! Hell no! Please. Don't let me start. Or do you want me to draw it with you? Not at all. Then you better go and tell them to leave. Or I'll do it myself. Don't. My mom felt terribly sick and I never had money to take her to the hospital. again rushed to my dad's best friend for help but it was fruitless I became an orphan. I fell from grace to grass. I started sleeping with men in different hotels around town just to survive. I later got a clue that the wealth the Davis family are sitting on is actually my family's wealth. They connived with Barrister James and defrauded us. And to reclaim my wealth, I went to the house as a maid and they accepted me without knowing my plans.
What do I do with this girl? I never wanted her here in the first place. Do I keep suppressing her or send her away? I have to do something fast because if she comes to know that we are sitting on her family's wealth, then she might put up a fight. No. Let me keep suppressing her until she loses her senses. Don't talk! Shut up! How dare you! Please, it was a mistake. How dare you! How dare you! How dare you! How dare you! Eat your food! Eat your food! How dare you! Since then, the zeal to kill the entire family inquest. I just couldn't stand Mrs. Davis' attitude anymore. She was more or less like a Jezebel. And what are you doing here? Um, I'm washing my own clothes. You're washing your own clothes? And what about the washing machine? You remember you told me not to use the washing machine, but I should use it for your family, so... I told you what! Come here. I said come here! Natasha! Natasha! Yes, ma'am! Get me some drink. Preferably juice. Yes, madam. The moment I was waiting for came.
Hannah. Hannah Williams. It's the sack. It's roughly midnight. It's ten thirty. Thank you. Thank you. Natasha. Sir. Why don't you come and join me at the dining table? I have mine in the kitchen, sir. Come on. Feel free. Don't be afraid, okay? Hmm? Come and join me, please. You are not part of the family. Okay? Sit down. Thank you, sir. Natasha. Has anyone told you that your beauty is tempting? Yes. Who? My mother. I'm not talking about your mother. I'm talking about the opposite sex, like me, a man. Hmm? Who notice this beauty in such a condition? A slam dog like me. I have never ever been told this before. Except you. You are beautiful. Okay, you are beautiful. You're not a slum dog. on what you told me. Natasha, all that I needed from you is to say yes and I will do whatever you ask me of. Okay? Just say yes. Dad, this 
Joseph was never part of the premises he met mom before she died. Now, listen. You know I need someone to take care of me. Not somebody that is young enough to be your own daughter. You uh, made that. Don't tell me you so in care. Spellbound and totally not in the same sense anymore. Dad, if not for anything else, but for the sake of my dead mom, your wife. I mean, sleeping with this girl is completely off the hook. You know what to do, girl? You can as well become your mother's possible replacement. But I'm sorry to tell you this. You're getting married next week. Excuse me, Papa. Why don't even have a single respect for my mom? Couldn't you even wait to moon her well? Do you know what? This is insane. We should have. Tina! Tina! <laughs> Mr. Williams and I got married. A great privilege to really smooth my deal to the fullest. Indeed, I did not in any way delay my plans. I killed him without hesitation. I watched him die like a dog crying for the rescue. <laughs> Killing Mr. William was like chewing a gun. I vowed to eliminate the only member of the family left, and that was Tina. Even if I'm called on the carpet, I don't freaking care. Because I'm now sitting in the captain's seat. I managed to seduce the same devilish lawyer who helped him to possess my parents' wealth? I realized he loves two things in this world. That is money and women. I sold my body to him and also gave him 10% of the world if only he would come out with a different world altogether. He was very greedy. May he so rest in perfect peace. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! <gasps> yeah, Derek. I just saw a ring in my room right now with the initials on it. A ring? Yes. Does it belong to you? Sweetheart, when, when I come, we talk about that. But for now, I want you to listen to me keenly. I want you to leave that house right now. I'm telling you about a ring and you are telling me about something else. And I'm talking about something to you too. I want you to leave the house right now. Natasha is after your life. Leave! Tina, where are you? I'm home. Home? I told you to leave the house. Leave that fucking house right now. Your life is at stake. Your life is at risk. Leave.
Where am I? <laughs> Tina, there's a dream come true. I don't understand. You know what? Your parents will explain it better to you when you get to hell. Natasha, what do you want from me? <laughs> Tina, I'm just trying to finish what your stupid dead parents started. Kazim, let me have my bag. Shit, my diary. Why is my diary? You're looking for this? Derek! Oh, Derek, stay out of this! No, Natasha. All the people you ever wanted, they're all dead. Let her go. So you read my diary. I guess you understood exactly what I want, Derek. Natasha, she's not guilty for her family deeds. Let her go, please. Gosh, let her go, sweetheart. Scott free. That reminds me, Tina. <laughs> Has Derek ever told you that we are married? Derek? Come on, Natasha, shut up. Has he ever told you that he is my husband? Natasha, Nat Natasha, stop this nonsense. Derek. Shut the fuck up! I'll blow her mind off now! <laughs> Derek, why are you selling yourself so short? Let her go, please. You know why I'm doing this, Tina? <laughs> well, let me tell you. My parents got their short stick tying and helping your parents from dungeon of poverty. And you know what they got? Their ill time death. With wretchedness, misery, gloom. Ever since I vowed to wipe your entire family, including you. <laughs> And don't ask me why. Oh, I'll cut your nasty body into pieces and send it to the watchers for food. Trust me. <laughs> oh, I'm really enjoying it. Drop your weapons. Yes. Drop your weapons. Drop it. Drop it. Come on. Derek. Derek, it's you. You cost us. Drop it. Drop your weapons. It's all your fault. Shit, you got lucky this time! Hands up! <laughs> 